What up guys, Professor Snap here, coming with the restoration video. Um, the reason I haven't done this uh, sooner is because I feel like there's so many restoration videos out there. And um, you really don't need to see mine. But, uh, you know, people keep asking, so I guess I'll do it. Um, I can't promise that mine will be any better than anyone else's, so, um, you know, hopefully I help. If I don't, then, you know, uh, I'm sorry. But um, I'm going to try my best. I'm going to show you all the different methods that I've kind of used. So um, I'll teach you how to clean and uh, restore the form. So, uh, yeah, let's let's get into it. So uh, I'll show you right now. I'll grab this. So... All this stuff right here is kind of my tools that I've used um, to wash. We'll start with washing. This, the hat wash, um, is what I used to wash my hats with. Um, the hat wash is really good for if your whole hat is dirty. Like if your whole hat is just dirty, like gross, I suggest getting this and it will, it will keep the form and then you throw it in the washer. Um, if you don't want to do that, then you can hand wash it and that's usually what I do for stains so this hat I found is perfect to show the rest restoration video on because the form you see look at that form is a pancake and um, there's you know um, writing under so if your whole hat is dirty I suggest just putting it in the wash if it's already jacked up like this just throw it in the wash you don't need a hat wash but um, if it's one of your nice hats and you don't want to mess it up, put it in this. It will wash the whole hat and it won't ruin the form or anything. It will keep the, the same form. So that's what I suggest. This. You can get this at like lids for like five bucks. So that's what this is for. And um, so I'll show you how to clean this real quick. Um, basically what I do first is grab this. Um, I actually got this from another YouTuber, YouTuber uh, System Psycho. Um, shout out to him. You know, I actually stole this idea from him. And same with this wrinkle releaser, which is part of the restoration. But um, I'll get to why I don't use this later. But um, yeah, Resolve Stain Stick. I'm sure you guys can use anything else. But uh, yeah, and then just put it on like this and let it sit there for a little bit. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to wash it. All right. So next, all right. So next thing, <laughs> the next thing you want to do is um. I wash it in the sink for like a stain. Um, my main tools is a sponge and a toothbrush. Um, I feel the toothbrush works pretty well. So um, usually what I do is after I've soaked it in the Resolve stain stick or whatever, I kind of spray Resolve stuff on it like this. See that? Let me turn the light on. There we go. Better lighting. Yeah, spray some of this, you know, Resolve or whatever you want it to get shout something like that I spray it on like that turn the water on try and get a little warm now usually what I do is I'll dip the toothbrush in either this is laundry detergent if you guys want to use laundry detergent you know grab your laundry detergent and just dip it in there and then start scrubbing because um, the laundry detergent is kind of what activates the stain stuff so that but I actually kind of like to use this I think this is a little tougher and you actually get to see suds so I like seeing suds because it kind of shows that it's working I guess even though it might be doing the exact same thing so yeah I'll show you so I've got it like that you know wet my toothbrush and uh, pour some yeah ghetto style just pour some like that and then just start scrubbing and I completely just start scrub. This is kind of hard with one hand. All right, so I just washed the hat. Here's the wash. Um, there's the stain. You can still see it. Um, honestly, some stains you just will not be able to get off. Um, but this I could probably get off if I, you know, scrubbed it a few more times. Like if I did the whole thing like two, three more times, it'd probably be completely gone. But honestly, I don't care about this so much. Um, cleaning it. Um, now we're going to talk about restoring the hat. Um, you can put it on a pot. Um, I actually got some towels, I guess, like, you know, hand towels and glued it on top of the pot. So that way it kind of, like, puts a f perfect form on it. Um, I've actually, this is the first method I used. I just put it on a pot and I tightened it, you know, and I sprayed it with the wrinkle releaser. But um, now I do not actually use this anymore. Um... 
mainly because this gave my hats water stains. I would pour it, I would, you know, spray it on, and it would leave, like, water stains on my hat. And, um, I just did not like that. So, um, you know, that's reason number one. Reason number two is this thing is, like, seven bucks, I think, eight bucks. And the stuff I use now, this, or, uh, like, this one, the starch, is only, like, a buck. This one's two bucks because it's, like, premium, um, starch. But, uh, yeah, so I'll get to that. So, yeah, if you want, you can just put it on a pot and then put some fans by it. That's what I used to do. But, um, actually, my new way now is, um, I've used cardboard. I've kind of cut out cardboard. Um, I can't exactly explain to you how to cut it. Like, I don't know how the dimensions are. But, um, the best thing about this is, like, um, cut it out. Make sure you cut it the right way. Um, because cardboard, if you, cut, I don't know if you guys can see this, but, um, see how it bends this way? Um, that's the way you're going to want to cut it. So this, make sure you cut it like this and not like this. Otherwise, it just doesn't bend right. It won't, you won't get this, this curve, curvature kind of thing. But, um, yeah, just play with this. Like, cut out some cardboard, put it in your hat like so. Put it in the hat and then, um, and, you know, and play with it. Like, if there's something you don't like, then, you know, do that. But, um, so that, let's restore it. So, what I usually do is I grab this starch, premium starch, or just starch. Um, I used to use regular starch, now I use heavy starch. Um, but, um, this starch I just bought, and it's kind of nice. It actually kind of adds, like, a little kind of gloss to it. This thing's two bucks. You get this in the laundry section, you know, in the same aisle you get this downy wrinkle, at least, if you want to get this. Um, this stuff works, too. It just gave my hats water stains, and it cost seven bucks. So, what I actually did was I diluted it, if you want, like, double your money. So, like, you take half of it and then put water in it and then keep the other half in another bottle or something. Um, so, yeah, that saves money and it doesn't, you know, it's not as concentrated. But, um, this hasn't worked as well. So, I'll show you what I do here. So, basically, what I do is I grab the wet hat. After it's all wet and you've cleaned it, I spray the starch on the inside of the hat. Just, just right here on the, um... The part you want strong, if you put it on the whole hat, the whole hat will be stiff. Because what happens is this stuff will give your um, hat a like, body and form. And then you put heat on it and it will make it even a little better. So I just put starch on the inside and now I put the, the thing on the inside. The little uh, uh, cardboard, you know, little mess thing, I guess. So I put that on the inside. See, just like this, and now it's like kind of already standing up. And what I do is I grab a hoodie, or like even a towel if you want, and I, I bundle it up, and I, uh, I stick it like inside the hat, around the hat. And why I do this is because the reason I put the cardboard in is because the cardboard helps keep the shape like of, of this part, you know, without it being like, because if you just put the hoodie in, It'll kind of get a weird shape on it. But, um, yeah, so I kind of just shoved the hoodie in there. And then, you know, and now it it's kind of looks funny, I guess. So, um, just play with it. Like, if you don't like the way it looks like this, just kind of play with it so you like it. Because sometimes how you put the hoodie or the towel or whatever you want to put in, like, however you put that in can affect how it looks. So, just play with that. You know, really adjust it till it's something you, you can live with. Alright, so that will help the form. See, so. There we go, okay. So, yeah, so. And just kind of like push it and play with it. And see, that's that. But um, now that you see all the wrinkles and stuff, in order to get the wrinkles out, you're gonna want. I got plastic bags. You know, I grab plastic bags and I shove them in there until there's no more wrinkles. So I'll show you what it looks like with uh, no more wrinkles. And you kind of get to play with it too. Like, grab a, um, I grab some paper bags and like, you know, fold them however you want. And I can see there's wrinkles across the whole thing. So like, shove this in here. Like, I'll see if I can grab this and show you. Yeah, like you just shove it where the thing is, like 
like that, and you get to like shove it where you want. Yeah, that's what she said. I know, shove it where you want. But um, yeah. So let me show you that. All right. So here's what it looks like after. See, look, I put the hoodie in, and I've just shoved paper towels and or uh, paper bags in there, and I've stuck, I, um, kind of stuck my finger all the way up in there, so that if I see a wrinkle, that's where I shove it. Like, <laughs> I guess, you know, that's what she said. Until like, there's no wrinkles. Like, see, and it looks good to you. Like, if it's like too loppy right here, then fix that. Like, scoot, like stick your finger in there, and like scoot the, the, you know, paper bag over, and like all that stuff. So now that it's perfect, you just want to let it dry. What I usually do is I, see, grab a towel like this, and then fold one side like this, and then that way this will help the, the brim, you know. So make sure the brim's like how you want it. If you want it straight, you know, like push it down like this, and then just let it dry like that. Um, I forgot. Before you let it dry, spray some more starch just on the body part right here, like that. You know, kind of rub it in. Uh, this one's a little soapy, but, um, yeah, so if you want to let it dry, like, air dry like that, then go ahead and do that, and that'll take a while, but, um, what I like to do is actually throw it in the dryer, because, um, one, it's a lot quicker, and it, it helps the starch, um, form a little better, like, the heat, uh, f keeps the starch in the form, so I'll show you how to do that real quick. Alright, so here I am in the dryer. Um, I put it on a dryer rack. If you guys have a dryer rack, see, it just kind of comes out and comes in. Um, put it on that. If you guys don't have that, then I, w I suggest not putting it in the dryer. Otherwise, like, it'll just, you know, you don't want to tumble dry it. But, um, yeah, see, the towel is in the exact same way. And um, I put it in there. And, you know, fix the brim. Put the brim how I want it. Make it all straight. Make sure it looks all nice. You know, I think it looks good, the form. Is how I would want to dry because pretty much how it is now, how it looks now, is how it's going to dry too. So, um, yeah. So you just put it in like that. You know, close your dryer. Um, I usually do about an hour on medium high. It'll still be a little wet when you're done. But, um, you know, and that, but it's still wearable, so... Um, I'll show you guys medium high, you know medium if you're really scared, you know because I know some people are scared to put their hats in the dryer just But um, I'm gonna do 60 minutes on on high heat, and I'll show you guys what it looks like So, you know, so I'll show you when it's done All right, and uh, here's the hat all dried and uh, You know good, so I'll, I'll take everything out and I'll show you can leave the cardboard in if you want to, like, um, the cardboard, you know, that'll help the shape. I usually, uh, will leave the cardboard in for a few, for, like, another day or so, just so that it can completely dry, um, you know, so, hold on, just getting the cardboard. Um, in order to cut the cardboard, I really don't know how to give you the specifics. If you guys have one that came with your hat that's how I made this one is I just put it over the cardboard and then trace the um, the thing I'll show you hold on so like this you see this like this was one that I got with the hat and um, I just laid it out on the cardboard traced it and then cut the cardboard out remember make sure you cut the cardboard right that's the thing like but there's like you could there's like lines that kind of come down you want to cut it this way so like this so then that way you can bend it and it'll give a curve to it otherwise if you bend it it'll just like uh, do this and like make it not curve so yeah that's that and then now I'll put the hat on and show you guys so um let's figure out what right yeah put on this snap right here Oh shoot, the snap's kind of broken on this. I'll have to fix it. But um, yeah, so here we go. Look at that. So now that's my fixed hat. So yeah, rewind the video and check what it looked like before when it was all flat. Um, you know, the um, you know, the marker's kind of gone. You can still somewhat see it, but it definitely wasn't as bad as it was before. 
So and remember, some stains just do not come out. So um, yeah, and that's my restoration bit. Clean and restoration.